guys, it's Jack and welcome back to another video and before we even start this one I have to address this whole studio situation here. Obviously it is way more zoomed out than it used to be. Those are all questions that are going to be answered in the next episode of Studio Renovations. But for today's video we are going to be figuring out how to get circle apps without jailbreaking guys because no one wants to jailbreak their phone unless they seriously have to and I did not jailbreak this guys this is just a profile it's super easy to download I'll leave the link in the description and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to download it and how to do it because I must tell you right now it is absolutely awesome looking so to start I have to tell you you don't have to do circle you could always do uh, this theme over here which is like a uh, bubbly theme and it all comes from this one website this website is called iSkin.toolIphone Dot net. You can see that there. The site looks so sketchy. It really does. When you scroll down, it looks like one of those like fake knockoff sites. A ton of ads. But you can trust me. I did try it out. Nothing's happened to my phone. I have no viruses. There is a bunch of themes you can choose from. Neon and minimalist circles is the one I have. You, know, you have a ton of them. I'm going to download a new one just because I already have so many of them on my phone. Let's get um, Neon V2. I don't have this one. So what you want to do is you want to look at the screenshot, make sure you like it, and then scroll Scroll down to application icons. Now what this does is basically it creates applications on a separate page. You keep your old applications, but these new ones basically you just kind of click them and it links to the actual application. So I'll show you right now. When I click Snapchat, for example, when I click it, it just links to the actual Snapchat over here. So for example, this theme will support all these apps, but it may not support something like these games. These games are not as common. I have osteoporosis. So certain themes will support certain apps, and that's pretty much how it works. But here we're going to do the neons. You want to scroll down to application icons, and what you want to do is check all the apps that you have. So I'm just going to check all of them, because it's just cool to have them. They don't take up really any storage on your phone, because all they do is link. Even though if you try and click on them, it just will say app not found. And then what's even cooler is you can actually name the app and call them whatever you want. So I could rename a uh, app store right now. I'll call it subscribe here just like that done just like that you can scroll down and you want to click install icons so again this looks pretty sketchy but trust me it's fine family friendly here you're gonna click install you're gonna enter in your passcode and then it's gonna say warning this profile is not signed it will say that for practically everything even like the Apple beta profile I believe it says that so trust me it's fine you want to click install and install one more time and you're done click done and then when you go down, you'll see when you scroll through your pages, there is the theme right there. So here it is. It's the neon theme. I think that's pretty cool if you do ask me. But you can really get whatever theme you want. I say the circle apps because I think that's kind of the most popular one. This first one, the minimalist circles. But you could really, again, get any theme you want. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. These apps aren't really circle. It's the same as, like, say you took a uh, regular clock application and then you put a black back around on it and it would look like the clock is a circle app but it's not really it's a square app like most of the other ones are but it just looks circle because of the background and that's how it really works so if you really want the full effect you need to put that background on especially for neon they just kind of look weird without the black background and you can see it doesn't really look as cool you kind of have those black lines behind it they're not really circle and for the neon ones especially those aren't very cool at all they just look like regular apps so I really recommend having a black background but that's just just me if you really want the full effect of it. So again, this isn't really as cool as jailbreaking, but it still gives you a pretty cool effect. Now what if you want to delete one of them? I don't really love the neon one. I think it's just okay. So I'm going to try and delete it. So I'll just show you uh, settings. You'll go to um, general, scroll down to uh, profiles. I currently have seven on right now because I've downloaded so many. And then all you're going to do is you're just going to click delete profile, enter in your passcode, and final delete and it's gone. So I'd even recommend downloading it just for fun, even if you don't really want it, because you could always delete it afterward. There you go, my neon is gone. That is the last page, and that's it. Full effect, you can always delete it at any time. It does not void a warranty, and honestly, guys, it just looks sick. And that's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It'd be awesome to be at 450 subscribers by the end of this month. That would just be insane. Blow my mind. Hoping to be at 1,000 subscribers by the end of the school year. That's my ultimate 
goal. And according to Social Blade, I should be at about 600. So let's see if we can get there, guys. Let's keep the rate going up, going higher. Let's not let these stupid YouTube glitches affect my channel, although it already has. I lost like 8,000 total channel views. I don't even know how that's possible. All right, guys, I'm Jack.